Hey, so I picked up a, a pair of uh, oscilloscopes from a local uh, discount electronics store, used electronics surplus. Um, I'm kind of proud of this one. Uh, these are this is a pair of uh, um, Tektronix 465s. Uh, this is this is actually a 465, and this is a 465B. Um, uh, they were uh, both being sold as is um, for about 50 bucks. This one was. Uh, uh, indicated as uh, having only one channel working, um, and I've I've verified that the uh, the second channel definitely doesn't uh, um, doesn't sense anything. Um, this one actually was indicated as uh, uh, powers on no trace, but by uh, tapping on a couple of buttons and you know shaking some knobs and stuff, I was able to get it to. Uh, uh, I was able to get uh, both a channel one and a channel two trace, so um, that's pretty cool. And uh, I'm thinking maybe one of the service technicians was able to fix it that way one time because uh, it came with this um, this uh, test equipment history document with a few repairs on it, and. Uh, this one, no vertical def deflector, says uh, that it was repaired by magic. <laughs> I thought that was really cool. But uh, yeah, the, my plans is uh, to make one perfectly working oscilloscope out of the pair. Um, I'm uh, hoping I can take uh, some of the circuitry out of this one to uh, get a function in channel 2 on this one. I've also, uh, I'm also planning to uh, cannibalize some of, some of these knobs from the 465 because these uh, are pretty worn out on the B. Um, you know, I've got a few little things to dig in and fix, tighten up. Um, you know, the switch isn't in, it isn't engaging anything, um, so I'll be able to use that one. Um, but yeah, just uh, wanted to do a quick video on on these and uh, eventually show the progress of making one full unit out of uh, out of two of them. So thanks for watching.